Annie. Omaha Performing Arts is getting ready for its next show at the Orpheum. The musical Annie will take the stage next week. 3 News Now reporter Ron Johnson explains what makes the show's run here extra special. When the cast of Annie takes to the stage at the Orpheum next week, it'll feature some familiar faces. Carly Ann Moore and Harrison Drake are both from Lincoln, and they've remained close friends for years. We talked to Harrison, who plays a butler, also named Drake, by the way. He tells us how exciting it is to do this show with Moore near his hometown. We met doing community theater 10 years ago. We did our first show together 10 years ago um, at Pinewood Bowl in Lincoln, Nebraska. So it's pretty amazing that um, we both were able to uh, book a professional show together, let alone one that goes back through our home state together. So that's been really special. Hey, so far, not for us. Omaha Performing Arts says it's unusual to have two touring cast members from Nebraska performing here. One more thing, if you love pets like Annie loves her dog Sandy, you'll love this. Omaha Performing Arts has teamed up with the Nebraska Humane Society to encourage more pet adoptions. The dog playing the role of Sandy is a shelter pet success story, and they want to use the production to help give more animals good homes. You know, we're so excited to always collaborate and um, get together with other community agencies. And so when Bev called and said, hey, would you guys want to do something we can we can hopefully call attention to adoptable pets, talk about how great rescue pets can be and the, the heights that they can achieve, boy, we were all on board. So we're very excited to uh, to partner with them, to, uh, to, to have Annie showing and to be able to show showcase some adoptable dogs. You can find out more about their efforts to increase pet adoptions right before the curtain goes up for the musical this Tuesday. Annie runs November 8th through the 13th. Tickets are available at Omaha Performing Arts' website. In the newsroom, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now.